By now, you've reviewed the different settings and options related to the Community Events add-on under Settings, the Events Calendar, in the Community tab. So let's jump into the front-end form, check out how the form itself looks, how the My Events list of all your submitted events looks, and how you access those depending on whether you have permalinks enabled or disabled. Even though I have permalinks enabled right now, let's not focus on that. Let's just check out how the form actually looks. You'll see if you've submitted events via the back end of your site, it's not very much different. The title field is still in place, the description field is still in place, and you assign categories based on what exists within the system. At this point, front-end users cannot create their own categories. They have to rely on what already exists within the site, but that may change down the road. The event image allows you to upload a featured image, which needs to be a PNG, JPG, or GIF file. The event date and time looks very similar to what you see on the back end when you create new events. And if you had Pro enabled, you would also see recurrence options down beneath here, so you could set up recurring events as you saw fit. The event location details is just the venue. If you had Pro available, you would also be seeing a drop-down of existing venues, but since this is just the events calendar, I need to enter one in manually. Same goes for the organizer. If Pro was enabled, I would have a drop-down, but since I don't have multiple venues I can choose from, I need to enter one myself. Next would be the cost, and when I was done with it, I would hit Submit Event. After hitting Submit Event, your submission goes onto your My Events list, which can be found right here. Now my My Events list is pretty basic, it only has one event. But as I add new ones, they will all start to appear here. And as I come to this list in the future, it will always take me to the page that shows the next event. So if I have a bunch of events I've submitted that are in the past, it's not going to show me those right off the bat. It's going to know that I want to see events that are in the future. You'll see that because I have the options enabled to edit and delete, I can do those. And if I want to filter down the display a bit, assuming I had a lot of events, I can hit this option and actually choose what I want to see and what I don't want to see. It doesn't really matter now because I only have one event here, but as you get a lot on the site and you want to be able to filter it easily, this is a good way to do so. Now how do we actually get to this? That's going to ch you know, change whether you have permalinks enabled or disabled. What I would suggest you do right now is either open up the readme.txt file that came with community events, or open the new user primer on the tribe website. Because both of those have the location where the different events related, community related, excuse me, options live on your site. Assuming I have permalinks enabled, which on my test site I do, this is what I want to pay attention to. It gives a URL, and for each of those URL, it gives a purpose. The add new event is accessible at slash events slash community slash add. Well, let's check that out. I'm going to go to the equivalent of the .com on my site. Since it's a local host, I do not have .com, but this is where my main homepage URL ends. And at the very end of that, I'm going to add this slash events slash community slash add. And you'll see what I'm taking there. It takes me to the form. So you don't have to actually set this form up. It already exists. You just have to know how to access it. And that's what you do with this URL. There's some more too. The events list is the same, slash events slash community, but instead of add, you swap in list. There we go. You'll see, even though it, uh, I just chose to go to slash list, it actually redirects me to page one. If I want to specify a specific page within that events list, let's say I have 20 pages, even though it only took me to page one, I could just come in, swap out this one for 20, and it would take me to it. That's what this third link is showing us. The fourth URL, edit an already submitted event, you'll see that structure when I click the edit for Rob's birthday party. Slash events, slash community, slash edit, slash event, and then the event ID, which in this case is six. Similarly, if I want to delete, it's very much the same structure. All I do is swap out the edit for delete, but again, the ID is the event ID for the number here. So if I wanted to delete this event six, all I would need to do is come in here, change edit to delete, and I would be all good. So that's it if you have permalinks enabled, but let's say you have permalinks disabled and you're just running off the basic default structure. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come into settings, permalinks. I'm going to change from post name to default and I'm going to save changes. Now go back over to the primer or the readme and scroll down to the permalinks off section. Here's what it tells you to do. Create a page and use the following tribe community events title as the title and just tribe community events as the short code for the content.
Well, I'm gonna do it right now. And again, this has to be a page. If you try it on a post, if you try it on an event, if you try it on a widget, whatever, it is not gonna work. This does have to be a page at this time. All set there. All I need to do is publish it. And when the finished product publishes and I view page, if all went according to plan, that submit event form now lives here. You'll see it's the exact same. No functionality is lost. You still have the full form, still have the my events list. You can still edit events as you see fit. It just is going to differ based on the setup of your site. But we tried to accommodate all setups for this exact reason. That ought to do it on how the form itself works. It's very simple. I think that also answers the questions on how the My Events list works. It's just a list of all your events that you've submitted. But if you have other questions, do let us know. Pro at Tribe is the email address. We also have a community-specific forum up on the Tribe website. I'm going to do one more brief screencast on a little bit more advanced, though not extremely advanced, because I'm not a developer myself, which is the process of template overrides. That's going to be brief and is going to show how you can change out the icons that appear here in the sidebar, etc. But in terms of the bulk of how the plugin work, works and how you want to jump into it out of the box, after this screencast, you should be equipped to do that. Thanks for watching so far.